Woodbine's ninth 2001 final of the Roses Are Red series. Ten great mares in motion. Here they come. And they're off and pacing. Leaving hard is Fast Lane Cruise In. Fast Lane Cruise In. Delta Shuttle. Leaving hard from the extreme outside. Hawaiian Flash pushes on through. Legacy of Fame is going to be up into the top four. Racing up to be fifth will be Artifaction. Then Blizzard Babe. Only the best. Eternal Camnation. Eighth and in between mares and heavy traffic. Mercy, Mercy, Mercy. Completing the field was Aquatic Yankee. Hawaiian Flash. Fast Lane Cruise In. One and two. Legacy of Fame sat in third. And that was Delta Shuttle crossing over from fourth. The opening quarter was in 26 seconds flat. It's Hawaiian Flash. Waples trying to rate some of her speed. Fast lane cruise in is getting a two-hole trip up to three-eighths completion in the Roses. A red final. Sitting in third, that's Legacy of Fame. And Delta Shuttle is fourth. Eternal Cam Nation overland all the way. Hits the top five. Artifaction sixth. Only the best is seventh, but spotted second over. Mercy, Mercy, Mercy is eighth on the outside on the way past the half. Then Blizzard Babe and trailing Aquatic Yankee. And they made that half in 55 and three. Hawaiian Flash. Fast lane cruise in. Eternal Cam Nation up on the outside, but uh, getting a very wide trip. Three-eighths of the mile to go, but she's still braving it and going on. Only the best is right there. Second over from fourth. Legacy of Fame of the inside. Fifth. Delta Shuttle took a shuffle back to six. Mercy, Mercy, Mercy is seventh. Aquatic Yankee eighth on the outside. Then Artifaction and Blizzard Babe. Hawaiian Flash. Eternal Cam Nation is chasing her and is going a monster trip. 124. Three-quarter time they turn for home in the 2001 Roses are Red final. Eternal Cam Nation showing eternal determination. She's been out almost all the way. Here comes Fast Lane cruising out between mares with a last rush. Eternal Cam Nation, Fast Lane cruising. Eternal Cam Nation becomes the richest pacing mare in world history. Oh, and what a memorable race she went to win the Roses are Red and earn that distinction over Fast Lane cruising and only the best in 151 and 3 a night we'll never forget for eternal chem nation in the woodbine winter circle there she is the richest pacing mare in world history by virtue of this victory in the roses are red final it's eternal chem nation you saw her at mohawk win the breeders crown from the meadowlands this year she won the breeders crown the fan had her stakes here at Woodbine last year and has well earned the distinction. With over $1.8 million in career earnings, Eternal Cam Nation may heretofore with be called Cam, one of Cam Fella's greatest daughters. From Cool World, owned by the Eternal Cam Nation stable of Fort Wayne, Indiana, trained by Jeffrey Miller and driven for most of her career starts by Eric Ledford. Six wins and 15 starts this year. And the 2001 Roses Are Red Series champion is Eternal Cam Nation. Our special thanks from all of us at Woodbine Entertainment to Alice Copas and Jack Copas, the man who was the trainer and driver of the great champion Roses Are Red, the namesake of this series, for again being on hand for the Winner's Circle presentations. To Eternal Cam Nation, thanks again to Alice and Jack Copas for being with us at Woodbine for the blanket and trophy presentation. Stand by. We'll be going into the winner's circle for the post-race comments. Greg Blanchard is there. We'll join him in just a few moments. An amazing performance tonight from the world champion Eternal Cam Nation. She takes the uh, final tonight of the Roses Are Red in 51 and 3. An amazing performance, parked every step of it. Eric Ledford, uh, let's talk about the race. Take us back through it. Uh, I'm sure things didn't quite unfold as you expected, being parked the mile. Uh, what was your thought process, say, at the halfway point? Well, actually, uh, it's hard to believe, but that's where I wanted to be. Uh, I wanted to be first over, and I knew I'd be out the whole mile. I just didn't want to do a lot of work anywhere into this wind. And uh, I thought if I could get her up there without using her too tough uh, in the middle half, I thought that uh, she'd have enough to go on by in a stretch. She was favored in both legs of the series and uh, raced well but came up short in both. Uh, what was the difference tonight, and did you feel that she was a different horse tonight? Yeah, well, I knew she'd be a different horse. She uh, Eliminations, uh, some of the other mares, they kind of step up and go a little bigger miles than they seem to do in finals. And, and in the final, she at least races the same, 
if not a little bit better than what she does in eliminations. And just take us through the stretch drive again. Uh, you had a good one on your back, too, the entire way. Only the best. Uh, any concerns about her and fast lane cruising who got loose late? Yeah, only the best was my main concern in the race. Uh, I wasn't too thrilled about having to bring her right into the race, but uh, the horse is sitting one, too. I wasn't too worried about. Okay, Eric, uh, congratulations. Good job. Thank you. Eric Ledford, the winning driver, and I'm here with a very happy Jeff Miller, uh, the winning trainer. Uh, Jeff, uh, take us through the two legs of the series again where she was second. Uh, the public may have lost a little bit of faith in her, but uh, I'm sure you didn't. No, I didn't at all. I mean, uh, um, you had some horses step up, and, and uh, you know, they raced well. And, and I'm not saying she was at her best, but it just seemed like she was a little dull. And, you know, we, fight, we fought a science infection, but really no... no uh, no excuses for getting beat. She just got beat by a better horse that night. And, and uh, you know, I, I, it's just a thing. I think she knows when the money's on the line. And just tell us what it means uh, to surpass uh, some great mares and now taking her spot uh, as the all-time money-winning mare in harness racing pacing history, beating uh, the likes of Galleria and Shady Daisy in that category. What's it mean to you? Well, I tell you, it, it, it means a lot because I think she deserves it. I'm, I'm not sure Jeff Miller deserves it. But I think Eternal Cam Nation and, and Cam Fella deserve it because she's a great athlete and she's done so many things for me, you know, and it's just icing on the cake for, for us for what she's done. And what's left for her this year? I think we got another uh, uh, stake race uh, here at Mohawk. Uh, I did put her in the Phillies and Mares at Lexington, but, you know, I, I, I think this late in the year, we're just probably feeling one race at a time and seeing how she's coming out of it. All right. We're glad to hear you're going to uh, be racing her again here in Canada this fall. Congratulations. Thank you. That's Jeff Miller, the uh, very happy trainer, again, as Eternal Cam Nation takes her sport, her spot in harness racing history. We've got the late double coming up. We're going to send it up to Frank for a look at the changes. And, uh, Frank, I think you would agree that was one of the all-time great performances we've seen. Absolutely amazing, Greg, and Milton Stakes, here we come.